Welcome back everyone to the channel. Phil from Aquatech here. Now today we're very excited to be down here on location to test out the new Evo 3 water housing. Now this has been designed for the new Canon 1DX Mark III and it's a follow on from last year's release of the Evo which was for the 1DX Mark II. This new housing will accommodate obviously the new 1DX Mark III but we've designed this to be backwards compatible. Now this, that means it will go back to the original 1DX and 1DC, for those who know that camera, and then the 1DX Mark II and the 1DX Mark III, all in the same housing with the same back plate and the same camera plate with this new design. Now at first glance, you might think that this looks identical to the previous Evo we were released last year, and you'd be correct. Some of those improvements that we made on the previous model, the Delphin 1DX, have been carried across into the new Evo 3, but what you're going to find is a more polished version of the Evo. There's been small tweaks and improvements to the back plates, to the controls, to the handling, some of the finishing here on the back plate and the internals, which are going to give you a greater user experience. The Evo 3 uses all the same P-Series lens ports. You can also use all of our accessories for the water housings, including the M3 pistol grip and some of the new Lux and Sync accessories for lighting. So in my hands today is this beast of a camera, the new 1DX Mark III on loan from Canon Australia. The 1D has always had a legendary status when it comes to reliability, performance out in the field day after day, battery power, and really, you can still find original 1D film cameras that are still going strong today. So I have no doubt in my mind that this thing is built to the same specs. That new sense of the Digic X, what does that really mean? Now a lot of people hear that and don't fully understand, but what that's going to give you is not only those incredible frame rates at 16 or 20 frames a second, you're not going to feel the buffer, but also when it comes to video, this camera's no slouch. It's going to allow you to shoot and what Canon are claiming is a 5.5 raw video file, a full readout of the whole sensor, and for those who are into it, there is no pixel binning or line skipping. Now 4K, you've got a multi-different range of frame rates there. You can shoot 24, up to 60p when it comes to 4K. You can also drop that down to full HD and shoot 120 frames a second. Now that is all internally, there's no external recorders needed. So that's an upgrade on the previous 1DX. Now to make all those features work, this camera has a beast of a battery. Now these batteries are gonna give you a full day of shooting. This is really meant for someone who needs to work long hours and continually throughout the day. So this morning we're down here at Snapper Rocks in Queensland with some amazing waves firing in the background. So we're going to put the camera through its paces in two different scenarios today. First up, I'm going to take this out as a stills camera. I'm going to focus on stills. We're going to capture some behind the scenes of how that's going in the water, show you some of those images, really look at some of those focusing and frame rate capabilities of this camera. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to change my lens, focus on some video work, and again, show you some of those different frame rates and file formats and how that works. Obviously, you can switch between the both on the housing and switch between video and stills. On this back plate, you've got full camera control, but we're going to break it up today. A little bit of photo, a little bit of video, come back at the end and we'll give you a little bit of feedback on how the camera went today. So for the steels right now, I'm going to use the 85mm at 1.4 lens. Uh, I'm going to couple that with the P120 lens port, flat port. I'm hoping to compress a bit more of the action and get a bit more of those tighter, finer details. It's really important that you remove the eyepiece of the 1DX Mark III with the new Evo 3. You can simply do that by squeezing on the sides, pulling that off. That's going to allow the backplate controls to align and hit exactly where they need to, ensuring that the O-ring on the housing to be sealed against the back plate when you clamp it down.
just came in from shooting stills. I had the 85 mil on there and I'm really impressed with the camera um, to keep up with the action. Obviously the frames per second were phenomenal. Um, the tracking and the crowded lineup were also great. Being able to lock onto your subject when things enter and leave the frame um, worked exactly as I hoped. We're gonna switch to video now. I'm gonna go out with the 16 to 35. Try to get some of the, a few wider shots. Um, also zoom in on a little bit more of the action and show you some of those different frame rates and image quality. So that's a wrap on the video section of today's shoot. I was able to get a couple of clips. The conditions really deteriorated, so I wasn't really able to get those really amazing clips, but I was able to shoot a little bit of 4K, a little bit of slow motion at 120 frames at full HD. What I did really like was being able to use the dual side handles and being able to stabilize the shot, but also have that camera movement when I needed. Um, obviously the big LCD on the back here made viewing the shot really easy being able to make sure I had things in frame or in focus. Um, the backplate controls also offer it so you can go in and review those images, but also go in and make key changes to the menu when you need it, as in jumping different frame rates or codecs. I really like it as a housing. I think the ergonomics on it are perfectly weighted for a camera this size. Um, and also just all those small tweaks, I can really tell the difference between this and the past Evo model. This model is compatible with all the current P-Series lens ports and all the water housing accessories like the pistol grips and so forth. And as I mentioned earlier, this housing is backwards compatible with all of the previous 1DX models. So this is available right now through our website and all of our global retailers. If you have any questions or you're interested at all in the Evo, please reach out to the staff and someone will help you.